Sunday morning, I'm heading to practice. It's almost 10.30. I'm supposed to be there at like 10.30 or 11 at the latest. Probably about... You know, my trek would be about 10 minutes away from here, but I got the, the Huffy out today. Quite a bit slower. My trek is in the shop again. I broke a spoke on the rear wheel. And it went way out of true. So they're working on that. I'm supposed to pick it up tomorrow. So I thought I'd take the Cranbrook out for a spin. It's making a lot of noise. I know this is the last time I rode it too. I think it might actually be the spokes on the front wheel. I noticed a couple of them are loose. So this thing's gonna need some need a little bit of attention soon. How loud that is. It's obnoxious. nest under there. Wow. I see a wallet in there. Some shoes. I'll just put my gloves on. I could use that for my new warehouse. I guess I could put different legs on it if I wanted to. I'm Penny. Oh, this is a plunger. take that motor too but I just got my backpack with me so I'm trying to keep it light I don't know if I'm gonna do any diving after practice or not some money some money some wire little keyboard little tiny keyboard it's a little Bluetooth keyboard in the cover and much keys. Bunch of some personal information in here.
20 cents. A oh, brass piece. That might be brass. keyboard oh it's missing a bunch of keys though That's a heater. Double heater. Else. Twenty-one cents and about ten cents worth of copper wire. Everything. Okay. Oh. some clothes. More clothes, that is a full dumpster. Nothing I can do with that. Get two full, they're impossible to work with. Unless you want to make a huge mess.
worried about it enough the camera can pick it up. Don't know what that's all about. It only happens when there's weight on the wheels. If I take this bike and just spin the wheels uh, by hand, they don't make any noise at all. This is what makes me think it's related to the spokes. I just don't want to take it back into the bike shop already. I just got this thing tuned up like, I got the wheels trued. I've already got over $150 into this $90 Walmart bike, $95. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could make it just to next year. That's like a nice socket. I can go back and grab that. Could be a mate. Might be an old made in the USA one. You never know, there might be one that I need. If I can find it. There it is, yeah, it is a socket. It is. I think it's an old one, standard. Oh, it's a Proto. That's nice. I wonder if I lost that. I found a bunch of these recently. That's a vintage made in the USA socket there. It's worth about five to 10 bucks. On the eBay. Yeah, I wonder if I drop that. Am I falling out of my tote? remember where I found all those proto uh, sockets and wrenches. I think it was around here actually, but I don't know. The nice thing about proto and uh, that might have been one of my bolts from my rack back there. Um, Proto and uh, Snap-on, I think. They have model numbers for each individual piece. Like for each individual socket, they'll have their own part number. That bird got hit by a car or something. It's a nice looking bird, it's too bad. Anyway, it makes it real easy to look them up, price stuff. That's where I broke that spoke on my track right back there. And I did ride it about another mile to the practice space, but then I left it there. Took it to track my car, my bike rack. I probably could have ridden it home, but I don't know. I just got a ride with my friend, my drummer. Just came back out the next day, took it to Trek. The guy was like, what'd you do to it this time? It's just, it just makes me feel a bit kind of bad when I go in there. I was kind of joking around, but I don't know. I'm kind of getting the vibe that he thinks I'm just out there like tearing it up. <laughs> like doing jumps and stuff or something. I don't know. It's like, man, he's a road bike guy, and I know he like 
goes out and rides like country roads and stuff on the weekends and evenings. So I don't know if he really knows the harsh reality of riding a bike like in the city in uh, pothole strewn streets of uh, Peoria with, with traffic. Like riding in the road with traffic, riding hard and fast to stay alive. So yeah, I mean, I'm a pretty good rider, I think, at this point. But I'm not gonna miss every single bottle. I'm gonna hit a couple now and then. It's just not possible to ride perfect all the time. Can't see everything. Good. In the winter when I'm looking at the weather, the wind is almost like more important to me than the temperature. That's like the main thing I'm looking at. Uh, this time of year I don't mind the wind at all. It's a nice cooling effect actually. Although it's not too hot today. It's like gonna stay in the low 80s all day. It's great. Just had a heat wave like four days in the mid 90s. It was hot. I don't know what that is, Celsius. Sorry guys, I don't have my Celsius uh, game together. I'm pretty good with the metric system, but. Celsius is just not something anyone uses here ever, so. I really don't know what that is, Celsius. Probably should learn that for, the, for these videos, because I know not just people in the United States watch these videos. As a kid, uh, when I was in kindergarten, it would have been what was you in kindergarten, like five. It would have been like 1978. They told us that. I wanted to say in 1980, everything was going to be metric in the United States. We're all switching to metric. We learned metric stuff in grade school. It's obviously a better system. I thought we'd at least get to the point, like, by now, where England is, where they kind of use both. They kind of use Imperial and, uh, and Metric. And everybody kind of knows both. Kind of thought that's what would happen here, but not really. All the flags are at half-mast. Well, the flags are at half mast. I do not know why. There's some old them in there. Lucky, there might be some wire in there too. What is this? That's some kind of hose. Probably not even aluminum. No, it is. 
That's a pretty good chunk. My backpack. Oh, it's soaking up everything. Nice hose, really. Like water everywhere. Could be stainless, I suppose. sellable item and has scrap. I don't really see anything wrong with it. I wonder if I should grab the little spool for it. Bulphead.com. Something's missing here. Piece is missing. Let's grab the hose. It's like you just connect to a regular faucet, so I don't know. Try it out. See if there's any leaks. Maybe it's something I could sell. Now nah, I'll scrap it. Running out of time here pretty pretty quickly, but had a couple more dumpsters before I start heading home.
needs gears. Who needs them? I do. get a flat tire. me in case I get a flat on the front probably unlikely don't know what that noise is camera's probably not picking it up the little squeaky sounds you might be hearing our normal, it's the seat, springs. But I think it's the front wheel. I thought that cover the earth thing was funny. Cover the earth. <laughs> I mean, that's a good idea. Let's cover the earth in paint. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll figure out how to do that. Like a giant spaceship or something. And Sherwin Williams will finally be satisfied. Okay, so I see these giant cans, like bags of what in here? Don't know. Can't be anything good. But I wonder if that's. Uh, I have no idea. into that water heater there's nothing left there see this kind of thing i never really am sure about what to do it's probably waste it's probably garbage might even be left out here for a scrap person but 
it's so close to the wall and their door and stuff. It's almost like they could just be storing it there. So I kind of feel weird messing with it. Otherwise I would cut the cord off of it. dumpster it's rusting out that flag's not a half mast There's some more aluminum chunks in here maybe and just flooring stuff Leftover Pergo tiles and stuff. Nothing in there. This thing has steel uh, wheels, so hopefully they're fairly durable. I'm thinking about putting different handlebars though. It'd be more comfortable if my hands were down like about right here. That flag's not a half mast either. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Here, there's this one. That's the sound I'm talking about. Not the. That right there. Not the sound of the rocks hitting the fender. That's like a constant thing. It's like a squeak, but it's like a low squeak. Ton of mirrored glass here. today check these two here and then I'm gonna start heading back towards the towards my place and I'm gonna hit the alarm company and the HVAC place That'll probably be it. Maybe the rider truck rental place too, if I have time. in the fender. I 
We've not found anything over here for a while. Let's see. Locations of anything interesting in there? It's just wood. Could check this office one up here that I haven't checked for a while, but I'm supposed to meet my wife in like the next 15 to 30 minutes or so. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Got to turn the camera on. I'm at the alarm company. It's got a big Ethernet wire score out of the cardboard dumpster here. And these wolves all had wire in them. Uh, the other dumpster had a couple of things in it. Uh, just a couple of little pieces of wire. I'm trying to get it all into my backpack here. Probably should have just made a nice coil for each one. I'm just pulling it and letting it fall where it may. That's all right, got it all in here now. That's why it's worth it to check cardboard dumpsters once in a while find something good in there that's definitely not something the recycling company would have wanted to see in their cardboard dumpster One more to check and then I'm gonna start heading home. It's like the heating, air conditioning place. I don't find much here, but every once in a while, they'll throw away a bunch of stuff, a bunch of wire, a bunch of, uh, some I got a ton of cell phones out of here. I find copper wire in here pretty regularly. Scrapped out, they had a bunch of older units sitting out here. Looks like they got them scrapped out finally. Um, you can see a circuit breaker and a little piece of aluminum breakage, but I'm not gonna worry about that. And I'm gonna head home. I'm supposed to meet my wife in like three minutes. I'm like 10 minutes away at least, 10, 15 minutes. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video.